गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी विल डू आर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज मिजबिल द ऑटर यू मे फाइंड द टाइटल अ बिट स्ट्रेंज यू मे नॉट हैव हर्ड अबाउट द ऑटर सो चिल्ड्रन वट इट इज सी एन ऑटर इज एन एक्वेटिक और मैरिन कार्निवरस मैमल राइट इट इज़ एन एक्वेटिक और मैरिन कार्निवरस मैमल सो यू नो द राइटर गेविन मैक्सवेल ही लिवड इन अ कॉटेज इन केमिसफेरना इन द वेस्ट हाईलैंड इन स्कॉलैंड एंड द राइटर वॉज टू मच फॉन्ड ऑफ कीपिंग पेट्स राइट कीपिंग एनिमल्स एट होम सो आफ्टर द यू नो हेज पैट डॉग जनी डाइड his pet dog journey died so uh, the author became too much sad and he decides that he would not keep any pet dog again right but uh, you know he visited basra city of iraq basra b a s r a basra city right so there one of his friends presented him an otter so for the first time he saw otter in his life otter is a mammal right an aquatic or marine carnivorous mammal so he was presented an otter and you know he took uh, that otter to england where he had a flat of his own to live and uh, you know in this particular story the author has narrated some of the interesting in- experiences uh, during his air journey from basra to london and paris right so he would describe how he transported that pet so it's all about the pet keeping uh, the providing uh, you know providing the love to the pet uh, providing the care to it so how they react and you know how human emotions are fulfilled uh, by keeping pets starting with the text of the story so it is uh, like early in the new year of 1956 i travel to southern iraq you know writer is telling an incident of which year 1956 right it was a new year and you know but by then it had crossed my mind that i should like to keep an otter instead of a dog and that chemisferna ringed me by water a stone's throw from its door would be an eminently suitable spot for this experiment you know uh, what crossed the author's mind crossing the mind means it came to his mind right it came to his mind that instead of keeping a dog as a pet he should better keep an otter right that it would be easier to transport him and you know the place was at a stone throw means at a very short distance right it's very nearby so that's why he had decided that he would keep an otter right next line when i casually mentioned this to a friend he as casually replied that i had better get one in the tigris marshes you know tigris marshes uh, it's the name of a place so when he discussed uh, the matter of keeping an otter uh, with one of his friends so that friend replied him that he could easily get an otter from tigris marshes right and for there they were as common as mosquitoes and were often tamed by the arabs why the author's friend suggested that he should get uh, that uh, otter from that place tigris marshes because at tigris marshes uh, the otters were kept uh, you know as mosquitoes are uh, in abundance uh, in our uh, cities right so here uh, the writer says that uh, like otters are uh, in that much population like otters are kept in uh, like that much amount in that place right so and they are tamed by arab people right so what the writer narrates further see we were going to basra to the consulate journal consulate head journal right to collect and answer our mail from europe at the consulate journal we found that my friend's mail had arrived but that mine had not so see both of them were expecting a mail and uh, that was to come from europe uh, and when they went to the head journal to uh, ask for the results 
he said that he has received only the writer's friends mail but not for writers the writer become a bit dejected after listening to that so see how he reaches there i cabled to england so children cabled means sending a message sending a message by telegram tar we often used to say in olden times tar i cabled to england and when 3 days later nothing had happened i tried to telephone the call had to be booked 24 hours in advance you know the olden times uh, when people wanted to talk to one another via phone call so that had to be booked 24 hours in advance on the first day the line was out of order on the second day the exchange was closed for a religious holiday and on the third day there was another breakdown so my friend left and i arranged to meet him in a week's time 5 days later my mail arrived you know the author had to wait for about 1 week how because as i told you in olden times when you uh, want to talk over a uh, telephone you had to uh, you know book it 24 hours prior so the author uh, kept his bookings but what happened like on the first day the line did not connect you know line had also to be connected line didn't connect on the second day uh, the telephone exchange was closed because it was some religious holiday right religious occasion on the third day again there was some breakdown some connection problem so author's friend left the place because he had already got an invitation and author remained behind so his friend reached there and managed to get the things done for the author and you know he reached means author reached there after one week right so next is uh, he describes uh, what happened there I carried it to my bedroom to read and there squatting on the floor squatting you know lingering on the floor were two arabs arabs two arab people were there they were squatting on the floor right besides them lay a sack that squirmed squirmed means uh, to twist about to move about that squirmed from time to time <clears throat> they handed me a note from my friend here is your order so that was nothing else but the order that was desired by the writer right so uh, two arabs present in the room what they did they handed a piece of paper to the writer and uh, you know handed me a note from my friend so note on which it was uh, you know written that he must have demanded for an order as he discussed with his friend and uh, here uh, he gets an answer from the two arabs present in the room that here is your order so second part of the chapter starts with the phase of author's life that he uh, felt that it was a bit different and you know it was more interesting as compared to the other incidents of his life right part 2 with the opening of the sack begin a phase of my life that has not yet ended and may for all i know not end before i do it is in effect a thraldom to otters and otter fixation right that i have since found to be shared by most other people who have ever owned one you know what he wants to say he uh, thraldom you know as the meaning is already written there that means old fashion being under the control of somebody right so a new phase of author's life had started after opening that sack that contained otter inside it right so he says it is in fact a thraldom to otters right it was in fact a kind of old fashioned one right but you know that since i have found uh, uh, i have since found to be shared by most of the people who have uh, ever owned one so whatever author had uh, heard about otters he found that the one he has received is a bit old one old fashion right but he had to accept it anyways because he wanted to keep it as a pet right next paragraph the creature that emerged from this sack on to the spacious tiled floor of the consulate bedroom remembered most of all a very small medievally conceived dragon you know medievally conceived it's given in imagination of the middle ages medievally 
medieval we used for middle ages right so medievally conceived dragon means an imagination that one feels that otter belongs to those medieval times right so the writer wants to say that probably it looked like the the creatures that were found there in the medieval period right so the creature that emerged from uh, the sack onto the spacious tiled floor of the consulate consulate means head of the consul right head of the consul so it lay there on the floor of that bedroom right and it resembled a creature uh, that were found in the middle ages right see what happened next from the uh, head uh, to the tip of the tail he was coated with symmetrical pointed scales of mud armor between whose tips was visible a soft velvet fur like that of a chocolate brown mole you know how he looked his appearance has been described that from head to the tip of the tail right up to that area he was coated with the symmetrically pointed scales of mud and mud armor right it felt that he had bathed in sand right so between whose steps was visible a soft velvet fur means his velvet fur his bodily fur was also visible and that was of a chocolate brown color right so he shook himself shook means uh, you know as dogs also uh, shook that shake themselves means uh, to move themselves right so he shook himself and i half expected a cloud of dust half expected means author was actually expecting a cloud of dust because he was uh, you know so much bathed in sand that a lot of dust uh, you know came out when he shook himself shook himself but in fact it was not for another month that i managed to remove the last of the mud and see the otter as it were in his true colors so you won't believe a long long period children the writer says that but in fact it was not for another month that i managed to remove it means he took so many days he took a lot many days to remove the entire dust from the otter and see the otter in its true colors it means like how he actually looked like so the author was able to see it after many many days means after you know uh, shaking him a lot on uh, you may say on daily basis or like alternatively like he was able to see the actual otter after so many days because he was uh, so much filled with sand that every new day he had to shake himself and you know shun off some of the sand out of his body right so next is mitchbill as i called the otter so he named the otter mitchbill right he would in short uh, call it mitch also Mitchbill, as I called the otter, was in fact of a race previously known unknown to science, and was at length, uh, at length means you know at a distance, at length christened by zoologist. Christian, you know, named by zoologist. Uh, the name is given here. Lutrogil, uh, children, read it carefully. It would be in the question answers as well by the zoologist Lutrogil, right? Perspis tilata and uh, Maxwelli, or it was called Maxwell's otter, right? So uh, the author here says that Mitchbill, uh, he named the otter, right? In fact, uh, it was of a race that was previously unknown to the scientists. So it uh, its name was not there previously, right? It was not discovered as we see discovery channels. So some of the species are there which are not uh, discovered right earlier so uh, sometimes they are in existence from a long long period of time but uh, those are not discovered by the scientists so mitchbill is one of them next line for the first 24 hours mitchbill was neither hostile nor friendly he was simply aloof and indifferent choosing to sleep on the floor as far from my bed as possible you know children pets also do not uh, make a friendship with humans very easily what the writer says here when he brought mitchbill to his living place what happened there mitchbill reacted uh, being aloof and indifferent aloof means not uh, mixing up uh, not getting personal 
right showing in difference means uh, like neither showing any friendly attitude nor showing any bad or hostile attitude right so michbil was neither hostile nor friendly he was indifferent means he was showing uh, that uh, it doesn't make him any difference where he is he was neither happy nor sad right so michbil reacted like this see what happens next uh, michbil uh, you know michbil managed to sleep on the floor but as far as possible from the author's bed it means he wanted to maintain a distance with the author because you know author was obviously an unknown fellow for this pet and pet was afraid of this human being right so see what happens how they develop a friendship the second night michbil came on to my bed in the small uh, in the small hours and remained asleep in the crook of my knees right so he has written crook of you know middle of my knees until the servant brought tea in the morning and during the day he began to lose his apathy and uh, apathy you know apathy means not having interest he began to lose his apathy means michbil by the morning when the servant brought tea michbil started showing uh, a kind of interest in author right and take a keen too much keen interest in his surroundings i made a body belt for him so that was mandatory see in the picture also it is shown right so you know the writer here tells us that uh, the pet for 24 hours pet showed indifferent attitude you know the kind of attitude that uh, Uh, of uh, you may say that is neither hostile nor friendly but you know showing of indifference means not reacting right neither becoming happy nor sad so here he says that michbil showed this kind of attitude for one day but on the very next day michbil started reacting in a bit positive manner he started showing a very keen very deep interest in the author as well as in his surroundings right the author brought a belt for him and took him on a ledge to the bathroom where for half an hour he went uh, wild with joy in the water plunging and rolling in it shooting up and uh, down the length at the bathtub under water and making enough slosh and splash for a hippo you know uh, enough a uh, slosh a slosh means you know shifting uh, noisily here and there and splash i hope you know hitting sound we often talk of splash of water so when the author brought a body belt for uh, michbil and you know he took him to the bathroom he took him on a ledge to the bathroom towards bathroom for half an hour it means for approximately 30 minutes michbil became mad with joy you know pets love water pets love water even uh, if if you leave a child uh, in water if you leave a child of 1 2 or 3 years uh, in a bathtub in a water so uh, he would certainly be happy if you uh, set them free so michbil again you know it is described by the writer that he began to feel very happy when he was uh, left in the bathtub right he enjoyed a lot their sloshing and splashing you know shifting the water here and there making a lot of noise enjoying himself right next is this i was to learn is a characteristic of authors it means the author got this learning that this is one of the features one of the characteristics of these kind of pets otters every drop of water must be so to speak extended and spread about the place it means he had spreaded the water everywhere right a bowl must at once be overturned or if it will not be overturned be sat in and sploshed in until it overflows water must be kept on the move and made to the things when static static means fixed you know it is wasted and provoking so what the writer says here that you know every drop was important and he had spread it like all over and each drop added to the joy of water further the writer added that you know water must be kept on the move it means water should not be static right if it is static it means that is wasted on the pet right so pets love water that is running running water so i hope that's clear up to now see next page 
टू डेज लेटर मिच विल स्केप फ्रॉम माई बेडरूम एज आई एंटर डेट यू नो पेट्स डोंट गेट फैमिलियर दैट अर्लियर एज वेल सो टू डेज लेटर मिच विल स्केप फ्रॉम माई बेडरूम एज आई एंटर डेट एंड आई टर्न टू सी हिज टेल डिस अपियरिंग राउंड द बेंड ऑफ द कॉरिडोर दैट लेट टू माई बाथरूम you know what he noticed that mitchbill has left his uh, bedroom and he just saw the tail as uh, we often see that if some pet is leaving the room we may uh, catch the sight of uh, their tail right same he saw the tail right so tail was disappearing means uh, he was going from that place right around the bend of the corridor and probably he was leading himself towards the bathroom right by the time i got there he was up on the end of the bathtub and fumbling fumbling you know trying to do something moving right fumbling at the chromium taps with his paws you know i watched amazed you know writer was surprised to watch all these things that how he has reached there and he is trying to open the taps in the bathroom you know amazed in less than a minute he had turned the tap far enough to produce a trickle of water and after a moment or two achieved the full flow you know a very lucky he says he had been lucky to turn the tap the right way on later occasions he would sometimes screw it up with a still tighter chittering with chittering means you know making high pitched sounds making noise chittering with irritation and disappointment as the tabs failure to cooperate you know mitchbill was lucky that as soon as mitchbill reached the bathroom uh, within a minute he was able to open the tab by himself see pets learn uh, you know so easily so early he was op- he was able to open the tab within a minute and in the second minute the writer says that mitchbill opened the tab in full flow right full flow so he had been, the writer here adds in the bracket that mitchbill had been lucky to open the uh, tap in the first go right within a minute or two but later on uh, when the writer was accompanying him mitchbill uh, sometimes used to try a lot of times but he ended up screwing uh, the you know tilt and uh, uh, making noise uh, irritate irritation showing irritation and disappointment you know when he was not able to open it so uh, that depended upon the situation like you know uh, we often call it that was just a guesswork a kind of guesswork that sometimes he was able to open it sometimes not right next paragraph very soon mitch would follow me without a lead and come to me when i called his name you know sometimes the writer had to hold the belt which he had brought for mitch bill right hold the belt and call him and sometimes you know he just uh, called him midge and he would follow right he spent most of his time in play right midge bill spent most of his time in playing he spent hours shuffling a rubber ball around the room like a four footed soccer you know that as, uh, association football player using all four feet to dribble the ball dribble means fell the ball right he used to play with the rubber ball dribble the ball and you know he could throw it with a powerful flick of the neck to a surprising height and distance but the real play of an otter is when he lies on his back real play of the otter is when he lies on his back and you know juggles with small objects between his paws and marbles were mid's favorite toys for the past time you know he used to play with the marbles and he would lie on his back rolling two or more of them up and down his white flat belly without ever dropping one to the floor so the writer has beautifully described how he used to Uh, like uh, fell the ball how he used to take it how powerfully you know with a powerful flick of the neck he used to mean surprise the author by doing various tricks with that rubber ball secondly the author tells us that marbles were mitch bills favorite toys for the past time right he would also you know you must have seen dogs rolling by themselves keeping their legs upward then rolling in the mud and you know showing their belly without dropping on the floor they are able to manage a lot many tricks so same is the case with mitchbill so the writer here 
tells us that how pets used to enjoy themselves how they enjoy in water how they enjoy with uh, the equipments which you provide to them right so here he has described uh, that uh, how they enjoy their life and how happy uh, they become if you cooperate a bit with the pets right so uh, this was all about part 2 see uh, come to the part 3 of the chapter two days passed peacefully at bastra right so the writer had spent two days but i dreaded dreaded means you know uh, being in fear of something but i dreaded the prospect of prospect that means uh, what would happen in future right he was afraid that how would he take uh, you know uh, that otter from this place he says but i dreaded the prospect of transporting midge to england and to kemisferna because his ultimate home was in kemisferna and he was staying there for a short period of time right so he thinks that it will be very difficult to transport uh, this naughty pet to his hometown the british airline to london would not fly animals so i booked a flight to paris on another airline and from there to london means he could not directly reach london because he knew that the british airlines to london they will not allow to carry pets with them right they would not allow uh, they would not allow the writer to carry mitchbill with him so that's why he booked a flight to paris on another airline right and from there he decided that he would go to london the airline insisted uh, that mitchbill should be packed into uh, you know a box not more than 18 inches square you know a big box mitchbill was a small pet but uh, the airline people suggested that uh, you know he should be packed in a box in a box that is 18 inches square box to be carried on the floor at my feet means that box had to be kept near the feet of the author for safety sake i had a box made you know the author had to get it prepared and an hour before we started uh, i put midge into the box so that we could uh, he could become uh, accustomed to it and left for a hurried meal you know try to understand the context what the author did he prepare he got a box prepared by somebody right and he put midge bill one hour before the journey started why because he wanted the pet to get used to the atmosphere of that box so that he should not feel suffocated and he should not start reacting immediately uh, on the beginning of the journey so that's why one hour before the journey he put the pet inside that box right so that he should get used to he should get accustomed to its atmosphere right and he left for a, a meal right he left for taking food next paragraph when i returned there was an appalling spectacle appalling you know shocking scene appalling spectacle there was complete silence from the box but from its air holes and it means no sound was produced by mitchbill but from its air holes air holes means the holes were kept so that um, like he he could take oxygen and chinks you know the narrow openings around the lid blood had trickled and dried you know a very sad thing mitchbill had probably tried to open the box from the air holes you know wherever there was a hole he must have tried to uh, like expand that air hole and chinks and uh, he was bleeding right blood had trickled and dried it means he was bleeding already after the author reached uh, you know just uh, after finishing his meal i whipped off whipped off means quickly opened quickly take off something whipped off the lock and tore open the lid right he opened uh, uh, the cover and midge exhausted and blood spattered spat blood spattered means blood splashed right he was bleeding badly whimpered and caught at my leg right so the pet begin to cry and uh, he caught the author's leg it means he must have been afraid he must have been suffering inside that box you know he had torn the lining of the box to shreds it means he had turning the lining of the box to pieces when i removed the last of it so that there were no cutting edges left it was just 10 minutes until the time of the flight and the airport was 5 miles distant you know 
it was five miles away the airport and it just 10 minutes were left and you know Mitchbill was in such a poor condition I put the miserable Mitchbill back into the box holding down the lid with my hand you know the author somehow managed to take him and see how they reach the airport and are they able to uh, catch their flight or it leaves see next paragraph I sat in the back of the car with the box inside, uh, sorry, box beside me, as the driver tore through the streets of Basra, like a, you know, uh, it's written like a ricocheting bullet. You know, ricocheting bullet which changes direction immediately after hitting a surface. So uh, the writer actually means to say that as soon as they entered uh, their car, the driver he drove at an extremely high speed because they had to reach the airport in 10 minutes and you know airport was five miles away from their place you know the aircraft was waiting to take off obviously it has to go at time i was rushed through it by, uh, by infuriated official infuriated means very angry officials of the airport were there and you know they were uh, uh, like very angry because the author has got uh, so late right luckily the seat booked for me was at the extreme front so he considered himself lucky because he got the first seat as it would be easy for him to keep the box uh, before his legs and nobody would be able to notice like what is in that box. Right. Next is I covered the floor around my feet with the newspapers, rang for the air hostess and gave her a parcel of fish to keep in a cool place. Right. I took her into my confidence about the events of the last half hour. I have retained the most profound admiration for that air hostess. She was the queen of her kind. You know, she suggested that I might prefer to have my pet on my knee and I could have kissed her hand in the depth of my gratitude. But not knowing otters, I was quite unprepared for what followed. The writer uh, wants to say that up to here the things were in his control how uh, those were in his control because uh, of course the otter was bleeding and author felt uh, highly pained at that but somehow he had to pack him because he had luckily got a ticket and permission to carry that otter along with him so that's why so uh, he was already late and uh, the officials were angry over his late coming so you know, when he entered there, his first seat was booked and he got uh, luckily again, right? Second time, he is lucky that, uh, you know, he got a favorable air hostess, right? So, what was uh, the role of that air hostess? She was very nice, very kind, right? So, she asked the writer that he could keep the otter uh, like along with him. See, what, he say, uh, what she says that when the author gave her a parcel of fish that is uh, you know that is to be eaten by Mitchbill to keep uh, because that fish has to be kept in a refrigerator right so in a cool place so the writer handed over that fish to the air hostess right he took uh, her into his confidence right to taking into confidence means uh, he asked her that if he can trust that air hostess right so Putting his trust uh, in the air hostess, he shared that what happened in the past one hour, that how his pet began to bleed, how urgently he needs to reach his uh, place and uh, like he was in how much problem. She understood the situation very well and she behaved very nicely, right? She further suggested the author that he may keep his pet uh, on his knees, right? On his knees. Right? So, the writer feels that she was like a queen to her. He felt uh, like kissing her hand, kissing the hand of her hostess because uh, he was so thankful to her. Right? He was so full of gratitude. It means he was so thankful to her. Right? But not knowing otters, it means the author had never traveled with an otter. So, he was quite unprepared. He was quite unprepared for the events that happened in the next one hour. So, see what uh, so interesting happened in the next one hour. So, see the scene is depicted right in front of you. 
मिज बिल वॉज आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स इन अ फ्लैश सो हैज द मिज बिल यू कैन सी इट क्लियरली राइट सो मिज बिल केम आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स इन अ फ्लैश इन अ सडन फ्लैश राइट सो ही डिस अपीयर्ड Uh, at high speed down the aircraft obviously so the pet would not be in control and why should he be right there were you know squawks and shrieks uh, squawks and shrieks means the people begin to shout right and a woman stood up on her seat screaming out a rat a rat because he was obviously uh, similar in appearance to a rat see the woman uh, standing on her seat right in an awkward manner so they begin to produce quacks and shrieks right so i caught sight of mitchbill's tail disappearing beneath the legs of a portly white turbaned indian see the indian that's there right so the writer is sitting on the next seat so he found uh, that uh, he could see the tail of mitchbill right caught sight of mitch tail means he saw mitch bill's tail and that was disappearing beneath the legs of that white turbaned indian person right diving for it i missed but found uh, my face covered in curry right so a hilarious incident his face was covered in curry like he was so confused at that time perhaps said the air hostess with the most charming smile it would be better if you resumed your seat and i will find the animal and bring it to you you know this won the author's heart the air hostess had actually won the author's heart um, she assured the author that he should be sitting peacefully in his seat that the author should not get up and start for looking for the pet inside uh, right so what she would do she would do that favor of finding the pet uh, in the place and she would of course bring it back to the writer so see i returned to my seat obviously the author had to go back right i was craning my neck trying to follow the hunt craning you know he was trying to move his neck trying to follow the hunt hunt means look out search because the air hostess was searching for the pet and authors you know eyes were also following the air hostess that wherever she is going uh, like she may find it right when suddenly i heard from my feet a distressed chitter of chitter means recognition right uh, sorry chitter of recognition means that noise of recognition right and welcome and mitch bounded on to my knee and began to nuzzle uh, my face and my neck nuzzle you know as dogs rub gently dogs rub themselves gently with human beings feet and you know their face in the same manner the author describes that uh, like before their hostess could have found mitchbill mitchbill uh, himself identified his owner that is the writer and he came back to him right and as soon as the author you know he felt uh, that uh, at at his feet a uh, distressed distressed means sad right distressed chitter of recognition it, it means uh, a sad noise was coming out and he was able to see that mitchbill has come back to him right and he was nuzzling nuzzling means he was rubbing his face right face and neck so that that's the thing pets do children that's the thing it means pets often show their love by rubbing uh, their body with the human beings right so that's how they get reunited so see what happens in part 4 of the chapter mitch and i remained in london for nearly a month it means they lived there for one month he would play for hours with a selection of toys ping pong balls marbles rubber fruit and a terrapin shell you know what's a terrapin shell the shell of a small turtle that is often found in north america right that i had brought back from his native marshes you know the author is describing that how they spent the next months so nearly for one month the people stayed in london and you know mitchbill would play for hours uh, with a selection of toys toys were ping pong balls marbles rubber fruit right and terrapin shell so you know with the ping pong ball he invented a game of his own which could keep him engrossed engrossed means busy right which could keep him busy for up to half an hour at a time it means he was so interested in playing with those ping pong balls 
a suitcase that i had taken to iraq had become damaged on the journey home so that the lid when closed remain at the slope from one end to the other so the author has almost lost it right so mitch discovered that if he placed the ball on the high end it would uh, run down the length of the suitcase he would dash around to the other end to ambush its arrival ambush you know to attack suddenly right and especially from a hidden position so he would attend the ball like this right hide from it crouching to spring up and take it up by surprise grab it and trot off with the with it to the high end once more you know a curious play has been described so uh, we would better enjoy it uh, like seeing uh, seeing uh, the live scene or seeing the recorded uh, scene uh, in a video right on a screen so we would better come to know how he describes that like how he used to play with that lid that was a bit closed and how he enjoyed playing with the ping pong balls like he used to spend uh, about half half an hour uh, playing with those balls and how he used to enjoy himself himself right next paragraph outside the house i exercised him on a lead precisely as if he had been a dog right so mitch quickly developed uh, certain compulsive habits you know habits that are not uh, possible to control so on these walks in the london streets uh, like the rituals of children who on their way to and from school must place their feet uh, squarely on the center of each plowing a uh, paving block must touch every seventh upright of the iron railings or pass to the outside of every second lamp post opposite to my flat was a single storied primary school uh, along whose frontage ran a low wall some 2 feet high right on his way home but never on his way out mij would tug me to this wall jump on it and gallop means catch with full speed gallop the full length of its 30 yards to the hopeless distraction both of pupils and staff within right so he has described that how mitchell used to exercise outside the house how he became accustomed to that atmosphere right so how he used to place the things uh, straight upright and you know how he used to manage everything as it is written opposite to his flat was a single storied primary school right so along with whose frontage run a long wall uh, some 2 feet high wall was there right so on his way to the home uh but never like on his way out right mitchbill what mitchbill would do mitchbill would attack the writer to that wall jump on that wall right gallop the full length of its 30 yards right means jump that full length of 30 yards right to the hopeless distraction distraction means you know uh distraction means disturbing somebody's attention right hopeless distraction of both pupils and staff within it means people would look at mitchbill in the hope that he would jump so high but you know every time their uh, uh, like their distraction uh, get into a hopeless situation because he was never successful in this act right that was just a fun on his part next page Uh, it is uh, not i suppose in any way strange that the average londoner should not recognize an otter but the variety of guesses at to what kind of animal this might be came as a surprise to me right so he says that uh, the writer supposes that it's not in any way strange right that the average londoner should not recognize an otter because uh, an average londoner as the writer supposes that they may be able to adapt with such a kind of mammal right but a variety of guesses as to what kind of animal this might be came as a surprise to me it means what kinds of things the otters can enjoy that was a total surprise to the writer otter belongs to comparatively small group of animals they uh, called mustelands right as i told you in the beginning so they were uh, they belong to a small group of animals the group is called mustelands right it is shared by the badgers mangoes weasels stoat mink and others so these are all the other names right i faced a continuous barrage of conjectural questions that spread all the mustelands but the otter 
more random guesses hit on a baby seal and a squirrel so you know a barrage of conjectural question it means a stream of questions filled with guesses there was total guess work otters can do like this otters can enjoy themselves like that right they don't do this they like water they play with such kind of toys so they were those were all like for a learner it was like a guess work right so further the writer says that is that a walrus mr reduced me to giggles means he began to laugh at that and outside a dog show i heard a hippo a beaver a bear cub a leopard one apparently that had changed its spots and a brontosaur midge was anything but an otter it means midge bill was actually different from all these things right so he was a different kind of mammal but the question for which i awarded the highest score came from a laborer digging a hole in the street it was still far from him when he laid down his tool put his hands on his hips and begin to stare as i drew nearer i saw his expression of surprise and affront as though he would have me know that uh, you know he was not once one upon whom to play jokes i came abreast of him he spat glared and then growled out here mister what is that supposed to be you know uh, as the author stayed there uh, for uh, such a long time as he described people wondered what kind of animal he was because you know mitchbill uh, this otter was also a new kind for almost all of us i don't think that you must have heard of it before right so people wondered so some thought it was a seal others thought it was a squirrel or you know some people even thought it it was a walrus or a hippo or a leopard like animal right the author however he was awarded high he awarded the highest marks to a laborer it means the most hilarious statement came from a laborer who looked at mitchbill and demanded to know who uh, it demanded to know exactly what it is supposed to be the writer laughed because you know he uh, too had become familiar with the otters with especially this otter and he was uh, surprised to uh, listen to a statement to a question actually asked by a laborer who asked what do we call this animal actually right it means uh, the author feels that people are so unaware that they are not able to recognize such a species that is uh, common in their areas right they uh, no react uh, in such a surprise right so here the story ends not actually story it was the description of an event and i hope you have got a good insight into the life of an otter that how otters react to the things how otters uh, like play with water how they play enjoy themselves with other toys right so i hope the story is clear to all of you so children do attempt the back exercise questions and the answer key would also be shared with you shortly so stay at home happy learning thank you